Well, one of the things I find that's uh, best about working here at EAI is that everybody gets a chance to put out their ideas. I mean, sometimes we, sometimes like uh, five or ten of us at a time are sitting in a room, especially in the beginning phase when we're, we're discussing the preliminary ideas of a game. Hey, Wes. Uh, nice job with the donuts. Oh, thanks, man. Like I said, I mean, take my donut idea. I mean, who would have thought that that could become such a great game? It really is an exciting project, and uh, I'm really happy to see the, uh, the merger of uh, fast food uh, snacks and uh, uh, military-style combat. Uh, when you're trying to sell a game to a publisher, um, they need to understand that you're, you're a gamer at heart um, and that you can bring your technology uh, and your art resources to bear on, on some very tough problems. There are uh, three elements that are very important for making a good game. Uh, one of those elements is a good, strong concept. The other is good art so that it represents the uh, state of the art and people feel like they're getting a good quality product for what they are paying for it and uh, so that it looks spectacular. And the third issue is good functionality. The cake dawn is going to explode. And oh, yeah, 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 which brings up a a regular donut can take a hit. Work. He's this not going to fall apart. Which brings up a good point. Are way. we going to have is realistic right? physics in this game? Yeah, yeah it's a cake donut. <laughs> well, yeah, no, no. If it was a glaze donut, we wouldn't have lost any material at all. Well, no, that, you just lost the glaze. glaze. The character has to be appealing. It has to be compelling. <laughs> Basically, good characters don't come overnight. I mean, uh, the first process is, is to design it out on paper so that you can just tack it up against the wall and have people critique it, and you can see what problems are coming up before you spend the man hours to, to build it in geometry. I want to make sure that he becomes uh, the prime character in this game. And let me tell you something. Johnny Eclair doesn't fight. What does he Johnny do? Johnny Eclair doesn't get blown up, and he doesn't get eaten. Well, what does That's he do? Kind of crappy. He yeah. always got to take a hit somehow. If you can just look at him. Johnny Eclair that wears army boots and no underwear? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, he's got... He's got you've, I mean, he's got all this definition on his muscles. Here. Exactly, and that's it's what you're like, looking at, isn't it? And that's what makes you uncomfortable. An architecture is responsible for establishing the look and feel uh, throughout the game, all aspects involved. You've got everything from your very first screen you see in terms of cinematic uh, up through the actual in-game user interface. And they're really responsible for making the whole thing tie in tight and look and feel the same. Make sure that everything that goes into a piece or to a game is uh, appropriate to the mood, to the tenor of the piece, that it is believable and that it has a level of authenticity that plays off well and, and, and absorbs people into the story or into the game. Hey Tim, yeah. good. I think we're getting this. Digitizing going here? Yeah, I think we'll get it knocked That's out cool. here pretty soon. Well, except one thing though, this is, this is a, a bagel. Yeah, it's a bagel. And, right, you couldn't find a donut? I mean this... Well, we had bagels. You really can't use a bagel for this. I mean, this, here, look, here's a donut. This is a completely different shape, you see. Look at that. You see how that's, there's like a plateau on top here. This is, this is flat, whereas this is round all the way around. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, the icing here is causing a completely different contour, where there's nothing like that is going on in the bagel. It was, all right, you know, there's subtle differences, but it's important. Yeah. You know, we're after a, a level of authenticity here that, you know, you can't really go in with the bagel when you're, when you're trying to do a donut. I think I don't want to talk about the technical issues too much because the public should not know what I do in general. That makes me more interesting, I guess. Quite frankly, this project calls for a greater sense of realism than something that we may be used to in the past. Uh, and so to that end, I brought in something that you guys can all use uh, for reference. And it's, uh, it's an MP5. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. MP5, uh, A5, and this is a uh, submachine gun okay. that, loaded. as yeah. you guys may remember, is um, in the design dock. Now, it's not the only gun in the design dock. Now, let, let's just stop right and, there and uh, allow me just to interject for a second. And I'd like to say for the record that this is definitely against company policy and that uh, under all circumstances, you're we not, tend to yeah. not want to have a weapon of such sort in the, in the office. I didn't bring this in. You didn't buy you, it out. You didn't see it. 
You didn't buy it on the budget. It's not here. This didn't happen. But whenever you need it, you can find it at my desk. Okay? So, does everybody understand? Well, I mean, I understand your point about realism, but don't they make toy replicas good enough? No, it's it, frankly, it's not. You have to have, you really do have to have the real thing. I mean, there has to be a level of conviction. So, uh, Greg, so where, where are you going to find this? You're dead, Greg. No, you're not, because I didn't bring it here, did I? Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't exist. I mean, you know it's unloaded. Yeah, but you're, 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 you're running at her. In our particular case, we have both uh, an indoor and an outdoor environment that we're uh, trying what the heck was that? Wow. One of the problems that we were trying to figure out how to solve is um, the donuts with the holes. If they have a hole and the player shoots through the hole, the donut shouldn't take a hit. It's not every day that you have to make a sound for donuts and uh, uh, the things that, that donuts might do. Uh, but I have a couple that I've been uh, kind of looking at. There are a few that I've thought might fit. <coughs> then it's going to be squishy, so you know, you want to, you know, convey that. You know, even if you can't see the donut, you want to be able to hear it squish. We've got kind of a, a light light beat going in the back and some nice nice sounds uh, get a nice positive vibe going for the uh, for the donuts. Um, and we, we, it's kind of upbeat so that, you know, they're kind of cruising around, um, checking out the other donuts, picking up some glaze, whatever. That's a good one there. They always say don't point it, you know, anywhere where you might get hurt or whatever, but there my hand is over the end of the muzzle and one thing led to another and came clearing out the other side, you know, what can you do? The last month and, and especially the last um, two weeks before Gold Master can be very trying times. Uh, everyone's been working on the, a game for a year, maybe longer, and uh, they can be at their wits end. Stress levels are high, uh, weariness is high, and on top of all that, they've got to put in the hardest fight that they'll ever face on the project. That is to make it perfect. There's no going back. This isn't an interim deliverable or milestone. This is, this is the end. Uh, last bug checks out, so that should be good to go. Okay. You, sure. got about, you got about six minutes to get out of here. Okay, a package is getting ready right now, so I'll go check on that. All right, good deal. Okay, cool. Call me if there's something up. Okay, good. All right, later. CD almost done? Yep, one second. We only got a couple minutes. All right. Cool. There she is. I'll get the car. Cool. Yep. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Get out of here! Hey, I had this great idea. When you gave me the gold disc when it was done burning, yeah. I saw a donut box in there. So I threw it in the donut box and that's what's in the package. I figured the client will open it up and get a kick out of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I found this disc upstairs in this box and I'm about to throw it away. Is that important? Yeah, this would be important. This would only be the, uh, it would just be the gold master. That should be on its oh, way shit. to the airport, so. Probably be sticking around for a little while. Or I'll be heading to the airport. Thank you. Goodbye. This is Greg. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, sound like Robert. My battery just died, though. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll just call him. Okay, we gotta get the disc there. That's true. Yeah, I got paid for you, man. Alright. Cool, thanks, dude. Right. Woohoo! We need a drink. <laughs> oh, definitely. It's 
gone. Oh, and it's beautiful, man. Where are we going? We gotta go out. Let's go to Lost and Found. Lost and Found? What about Tabitha? Well, I kind of like that. I don't know. Robert? Let's just ship the box of donuts. This is what? you ship the box of donuts. That's the gold master. <laughs> Hey, good news, good news. Gold Master is accepted. Good job, everybody. Hey, that's awfully nice, Wes. Oh, what did it do? That's weird. No, what's up? Oh, my God. That's enough. No, watch. Watch. That's when I see me get it. That's when I see me get it. I'm going to throw the pop up pirate. All right. Dang it. Nobody knows. I can tell you right now, Johnny Eclair does not use weapons. Well, Johnny Eclair... But Johnny Eclair looks like a fan. Uh, Johnny Eclair I mean, is, he's wearing, is buff. He's Maybe wearing... you're a little jealous of that. Okay. You think if we made toys out of this guy, mm -hmm. you think any any eight-year-old kid would go ask his mom for a Johnny Eclair doll? If he has taste, yes, he would. But what makes a donut special is that each one is an individual and has its own personality. Exactly what I'm trying to prove with Johnny Eclair. This game needs more violence. We don't want to get so hung up on a reality that we lose sight of having fun. That's I all. spent hours on this drawing. Just because you spend time on it doesn't make it better. So like in this particular case, that's a donut that typically wouldn't have a filling because filling donuts that have holes in the center, I think, presents some kind of Listen, technological. Listen, I'm the one that did the research here. I know exactly what this is. Johnny Eclair is, is there. The whole game. He looks to like a look buff. He looks and like that's a, it. He looks like a Chippendale. He looks like an exotic dancer. You need a little gold lame on there. There is nothing wrong with, with an exotic dancer donut. I, you know, I'd like to see this guy right here eat Johnny Eclair, process his body into the custard that he is, and then puke him out. Just spooge spooge, him out. Spooge, spooge him out. Oh, I'm not going to deal with this. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, come on. It's oh, just a yeah, critique. Yeah. Relax. Sorry. Right. Yeah.